How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and last time I got done exploring Lavare City. So now we're gonna take on the Lavare City Pokemon Gym leader, Valerie, the maiden from a land with history. Hmm. Well, let's check this house out. Oh, wow, that's a nice house. Oh, and nice rooms. And, uh, whoa. Those are some fancy wings. Well, howdy, Mr. Pouty. What's new, future champ? This here Lavare City Pokemon Gym has some truly confounding conundrums. The first shocker in here is, or the first shocker is, this here is a fairy type gym. Bet you've never seen one of these before. The second shocker is how you get around. Hop on one of the warp panels and off you go. But where you land, nobody knows. Ha, just pulling your leg, champ. The warp panels all have fixed destinations, of course. All right, so we got to step on a flashing yellow panel. So this sounds reminiscent of Sabrina's gym, huh? All right, well, cool. Looks like we have to find our way to Valerie. All right, so, oh my. All right, so now we're in this middle room here. Oh, look at her. What do you have on your team? This Fusirore, Furisore girl had her clothing designed by the one and only Valerie. All right, let's see what this Fusi Roto girl. F Fusi Roto? I don't think actually it's like Foo. I think it's sort of like a. Oh well, whatever. Fusi Roto. Huri Huri Sode. What am I even talking about? I don't even know. Okay, so right. Anyway, she has a Dedene, level 38. Hmm. Hmm. Not really liking this. Let me just Mega Evolution Rock Tomb. Actually, I'm trying to think. I know Rock Tomb has Stab and all, but I also do get that Mega bonus from Crunch. I'll just crunch it. Furry Sode. Furry Sode? Furry Sode. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, that's right. It's part fairy. I totally forgot about that. Darn it. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to suffer the consequences already. There we go. And an Azumarill, which is also part fairy. Um, oh shoot, you know what? I still have that Onyx from earlier. I have to go switch that thing out. I need to get my Venusaur. That's actually one of the things that'll do good in here. Alright, let's try this new move. Thunderbolt. Nice. Not quite enough to take it out, but still pretty good. How is it raining indoors? <laughs> oh, well. Boom. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'll go get Venusaur before we, uh... Sure, I'll give you Stealth Rock. Why not? Uh, let's see. Rock Throw's 50 power. Rock Tomb, 60. So let's get rid of Rock Throw. We don't need that. Yeah, I'll just go get Venusaur after we've taken out all the trainers here and gotten through. So that way I can take a trip to the Pokemon Center anyway. Um, all right. So what do we got over here? That takes us here, huh? All right, what's your deal? Oh, wait, hold up. Let me use... Well, I guess I'll use Sylveon. I looked up to Valerie so much that I came here to learn from her. Okay. So, oh, she's another one of those Furisore, Furi Sore girls. Whoa! It's an Aromatisse. Interesting. Alright, well, it's level 40, so that's nothing to sneeze at. Oh, nice. And I got a critical hit, too. And I lowered its special attack. Oh, wow. You try to attract me? I don't think so. I'll just read your mind. But I will give you a kiss, though. <laughs> there we go. All 
Alright, well, good job, Sylveon. <laughs> Onyx getting levels. Furisode. Furisode, girl, huh? Alright, so this one, I haven't come from over here. And that leads me over here. Fancy room. We'll just, you know, have some dinner really quick. Don't we just look like a bunch of dolls in a dollhouse? Yeah. Yeah, you sort of do. Wow, she's pretty. Blossom. Oh, she's got a clef key. What's a clef key? It's like a little keyring thing, huh? Huh, unfortunately... It looks... I think that's like a steel type or something. I don't know if it's levitating. From prison. What? Okay. Well, let's see. Are you levitating? You are not? You are not. Ooh, foul play. Why would you do that? Not a very good move on your part. Oh, well, let's go for Draining Kiss here. Poor man. Ah. This thing is being just downright annoying. Hey, Meow Stick, 48, wants to learn Sucker Punch. Huh, interesting. You don't really have the attack stat to make use of it, so let's just go ahead and get rid of it. Oh, darn it, come on, let me do it. Well, I mean, I guess it wouldn't... Eh, let's just keep the old moves. There we go. Oh, yeah, and you too, Onyx. <laughs> Curlia, huh? Um, actually, let's use Aerodactyl here. Oh, darn it, I keep forgetting it's part fairy now! It's just such a twist! All these things that have been changed. Um... I'll just use fly, whatever. Whoa! Oh my goodness, Calm Mind looks really cool! Wow, that's awesome! I'll counter it with an equally awesome looking attack. Fly looks great. Alright. Ooh, Greninja wants to learn extra sensory. Whoa, are you serious? Wow, that's pretty nice. You know, as much as Water Shuriken looks cool and all, I really don't like it. So I'm just going to get rid of it for extra sensory. Just kind of makes extra sense. Yeah, that was terrible. All right, Granbull, huh? Hmm. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. Normal fairy type actually gets rid of normal's weakness. So it's like having a normal type that is beneficial. Well, we'll just use Sylveon here. All right, let's use a moon blast. Boom. Oh, nice. Critical hit thanks to Pokemon of me. Sylveon, 48, cool. Obviously way higher level than they probably should be for here. But you know what? Again, that's due to the experience share. It's probably one of the, the main complaints about the game. I like that it's helpful for younger players, though. Because I've seen so many people, you know, like younger players who have no clue how to get through places because they don't know how to train their Pokemon up properly. I know it seems kind of kind of silly, but... It's actually one of those things that makes a big difference. Alright, so you got a Slurpuff, and oh my goodness, that thing looks so cute when it's sent out. It has those happy eyes. Alright, let's go ahead and use Moon Blast. Sylveon, you're basically showing these fairy types who's boss. 
Oh, why would you do that? All right, let's use Draining Kiss. There we go. Heal up a little bit. Not too bad. All right, take that, free soda girl, Catherine. All right, so what do we have over here? Oh, well, that's convenient. I'm going to assume that that there is indeed the gym leader. Cool. Well, I'm not going to fight her just yet because there's something else really important here. Oops. Aw, oh, too bad I can't take that shortcut until afterwards. Okay, so in order to get through here, there's actually a variety of ways you could take. And it seems that I actually just kind of inadvertently took a pretty quick way. Let's see. So this way here. See, this leads over to this thing. Ooh, I get to look at myself. Oh, yeah, so nice. <laughs> Ooh, a fancy bathroom. Wow, look at this. Bathtub with ornate legs. Haha, <laughs> I'm right at home now. This is nice. There's even a thing on the side to flush. I think this is the first time they've shown a toilet in a Pokemon game, or is that just me, huh? Wow. Alright, um, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, this is cool looking room. Sewing machine. Huh, very nice. All right, and then this goes here, and I think I already fought you, right? Yeah, I did. All right, well, fantastic. Oh, and here we go. All right, so we're at the entrance again. Now, I'll tell you what, I'm going to head on out here and heal up. And I'm back. So... I went ahead, healed up my Pokemon, and withdrew my Venusaur now. So I have Venusaur in my party again, uh, which is definitely a good Pokemon to use here, at least I would imagine. Now, if you're kind of lost trying to figure out how to get through here, uh, I have this really cool map that a buddy of mine, VidVisionify, made, and it is pretty sweet. As you can see, there are numbers, and these correspond to where you will be taken if you take those warp panels. So it's actually pretty darn convenient. He even went ahead and marked where all the trainers are. So keep this in mind if you're trying to figure out how to get through here. Um, so I guess there's pretty much a few different ways you could go. Uh, and looking at it, we could just take the same route I did. Let's go ahead and step on this one here, which is number nine. Leads to the living room, right? So, I guess we can take this one down here. I think this is it, right? Yeah, this is the one. And then this will take us to the study as it's marked on that map. So then, from the study here, just go over to the left. That'll take it to the dining room. From here, all you need to do is just go to this one in the bottom right corner. And then you'll appear in the bedroom. Once you're in the bedroom, you're pretty much set. Because then it's just this warp panel here that takes you to the gym leader. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Actually, I'm not ready. Hold on. Let's see. Who am I leading with here? Sylveon. Um, I mean, Venusaur is a solid choice, obviously. But I want to use Sylveon. Actually, I do want to use... Well, yeah, I'll use... Whatever. I'll use my fairy type. <laughs> okay, let's fight against her. Wow, those are some big wings. Oh, if it isn't a young trainer. So you've flown all the way through my gym, fluttering down to me on a fortunate wind. Then I suppose you have earned yourself the right to a battle as a reward for your efforts. I am Valerie, who leads this fairy type gym. I hope your visit will prove entertaining to you. The elusive fairy types may appear frail as a breeze and delicate as a bloom, but they are strong. Oh man, we have to fight against Valerie! Oh snap! 
All right, so she leads with her Mawile. Ugh. Well, that's actually a good thing that I sent Sylveon out then. Because otherwise, <laughs> poison attacks are going to do nothing against that Mawile. Fire attacks will be a good bet against it, though. Um, let's see here. I guess let's use... Dig. Yeah, ground types, too. And then I guess even, like, water types in a pinch. Water or electric. They're not resisted. Oh, good job. Oh, critical hit. That's why. Good old pokemon me. Alright, and a Mr. Mime, huh? Okay, so that's a Psychic Fairy, and again, bad news for Poison types. Ugh. Um... Hmm. Well, let's try Venusaur out anyway. Alright. I could probably go Mega, but I don't really feel like it right now, so let's just go ahead and Venno Shock it. I kind of want to see what this Mr. Mime might do. Light Screen? Oh, that's mean. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm going to assume you'll heal here. Yep. So let's just Venno Shock it again. Come on, I want to see what you'll do. I'm giving you a chance. Psychic. Ooh. Ow. Yeah, that hurt all right. All right, I'm done playing around. It's getting real now, Mr. Mime. Yeah! There we go. Use my little bit of extra special attack to pull through. Alright, and what else do you have? Oh, you have a Sylveon too! Oh, not fair! Oh well, that's fine. You know what? Let's have a fight against the Sylveons! That's awesome. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. All right, let's see. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and Moonblast it. Charm, huh? All right, well, that's fine. So Sylveon is, as you've seen, just a pure fairy type. Dazzling Gleam. Huh, I wonder what that was going to do. You've piqued my curiosity now. I'll give you a chance to live with Training Kiss. Yeah, I don't think that'll work, though. Oh, well. Why don't I have Dazzling Gleam? Well, it looks like my Sylveon is superior. I hope the, sh I hope the sun is shining tomorrow. That would be reason enough to smile. Well, hopefully it is, because otherwise I wouldn't be smiling either. Yes, that was a fine battle. I shall reward you for this great victory. This is the fairy badge. It's yours now. Its beauty is captivating, is it not? Ah, do forgive me. I was so captivated I forgot for a moment that it was yours. All right. Well, that's the least inspired name for a badge since the bug badge, but okay. The captivating fairy badge will endear any Pokemon up to level 80 to you. Yes, even those Pokemon that you may receive from others will obey you. I also wish to award you this TM. Please consider it a personal gift for me, not simply the winnings of a battle. Oh, there we go. TM 99. Dazzling Gleam. Well, that's cool. Oh, my, what a curious feeling. I can't seem to recall any longer which move is contained in that TM. I hope you might forgive me. Wow, really? I have always wanted to be a Pokemon, you see. That desire is my inspiration. What I try to is eat to achieve by designing. And yet, the only time I feel I am truly one with Pokemon is when we are embroiled in a desperate battle. I wonder why that is. Hmm. 
Could it be? Never mind, it is nothing, kind trainer. Wow, she had a lot to say. Okay, so I'm going to assume now I can take this warp panel. Indeed I can. Cool, but I'm also rather curious to see what this dazzling gleam is all about. Um, damages opposing Pokemon by emitting a powerful flash. Well, that doesn't sound all that powerful. I mean, I have Moon Blast. That basically blasts the moon. Well, blasts the foe with the power of the moon. Alright, well, cool. Hi, M. Meister. Who is it? Oh, it's these two. Hey, so that's the fairy badge. It's so cute and sparkly. You know what? We're going to go tour the Pokeball Factory. Come with us. I'm interested in Pokeballs because they're used to catch Pokemon. To put it to put it another way, I'm utterly fascinated by them. Well, good for you. I guess I could use a few more Pokeballs as well. So, I guess I know where I'm going to be checking out on the next episode. Aw, oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, speaking of which, I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon X Adventure! See you next time, Pokeballs!